Marianne, nearly 40 years old and mistress of her own destiny, sets off on her travels. She possesses a large fortune and can do absolutely as she pleases. Finally, her rage to see the tropics is fulfilled. Marianne's gateway to the globe begins in America. Her horizons are magnified. She's enchanted by grand, giant trees and the breathtaking Niagara Falls. She visits a dozen countries in just six years, always on the move, always painting, and always a lone traveler. Unlike our click-easy vacations, traveling 150 years ago was difficult and dangerous. Marianne would have easily spent up to two years at sea, enduring cramped, unsanitary conditions, violent storms, and severe sickness. It's seen as an unsuitable pursuit for the weaker sex, unless one has what were called letters of introduction. Marianne's letters of introduction were absolutely vital um, for her to gain the kind of experiences that, that she had. These letters operated like a 19th century social network that connected British upper classes around the empire. It ensured that she was introduced to a lot of intellectual ideas, uh, scientific thought, um, challenging debates, many things that, that other women simply didn't encounter at that time. But it isn't the chance to rub shoulders with high society that really excites her. What she wants is to paint in the most far-flung places on Earth. 